Hey guys, it's Christine Bertram and I am coming to you live on the hive, on the hive, <laughs> live from the hive on a Tuesday. God, does it seem like I'm a little bit out of practice on that, on that introduction? Whew, give me a few days off and I don't know what to say anymore. So, well, it was the most odd Tuesday, I think, <laughs> for me in a long time. Oh man. So, I, uh, there it is. It came up right away, you guys. I don't know if you always get those notifications. You can set your notifications to show when I'm live. And I set myself to see that when I'm live. And sometimes it pops in right away and sometimes it doesn't. Hi, France. Uh, so today was a little bit odd for me because, well, first of all, I'm still on my leave of absence. Hi, Bonnie Kelly. And so that was odd in and of itself. Hi, Hilda Nell. Hi, Vicki, and this weekend, it was Valentine's Day yesterday, right? So Tyler and I actually went away for a few days just for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Hi, Terry. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Doris. And there's Ethel. Woohoo! Hi, Chris Dudarenki. Um, Deb Norman and Kim. <laughs> so so we did sneak away. I didn't tell many people. <laughs> it just popped up on me, I think. Hi, Diane. Uh, so we went up to um, Bayfield, Um Thursday, Friday, no, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, it wasn't even Friday during the day. It was Friday after Tyler got done with work and we came home yesterday. And then he, hi Janice. And then he snuck away. He went on a bus trip down to Louisville for the farm machine show. <laughs> hi, Ann Bellinger. And so he was up and out of here by 4.30 or 5 o'clock this morning. Hi, Maria. And so there's no date night tonight. And so I actually stamped with Diane today. Hi, Tammy Steckling. And so Diane and I made some cards. You're probably going to want to see them. We worked on the Let's Just Stamp for March. And I'll bring them over here so I don't forget. I will I'll share them with you, give you guys a little sneaky peek. Hi, Barbara Barco. Hi, Sandy. Um, so I got to stamp with Diane today. And then my mom and dad came in. Well, originally just my mom was going to come in and help me kit up ink, paper, scissors. And, and then I said to her, well, do you want to go get dinner tonight? Since Tyler's not around, I'll have date night with my mom. And then she calls me and says, well, your father would like to come along too and go out to eat. And if you want to put him to work while he's here, you can. <laughs> so hi, Becky. <laughs> uh, so my dad was here and he stamped envelopes for me. He put on my address labels, like my stamp on my the corner return. Um, and he cut embellishment strips for me. He put dimensionals on the back of labels for the celebration celebration gift and <laughs> We got all those made and my mom helped me get the ink, paper, scissors kitted up. So then I took my parents to dinner and so they were my dates tonight. And then by the time we were done, I'm like, I really need to finish grading those scavenger hunts. So I graded them on the drive home from Bayfield. We had a six hour drive yesterday. And hi, Zaina. Hi, Angie Liner. Hi, Karen. And so we had a six hour drive home and he did all the driving. And so I pulled out those scavenger hunts and I'm like, I gotta get this done because it's been the longest. I, I sometimes wait up to a week to grade the scavenger hunts after they're due, but it ended up being two weeks. I graded them on the 14th, which was yesterday. <laughs> no, yes, Hilda and my parents are amazing. And so I treated them to dinner tonight and they wanted to get the bill. I'm like, no, mom and dad, like you just worked and helped me for the last three hours. I want to treat you. So I was, it was nice to be able to go to dinner with my parents. And it was really, um, we went to a little restaurant in Fond du Lac um, called Fryer Talks and we had our little sandwiches and some fries and it was good. And so we got back here, it was a little after seven. I had some scavenger hunts that actually got turned in while I was in Florida, like on the 30th, 31st, or 29th, and I needed to go back through my emails and make sure I didn't miss any of them. So I did that first, and then I finished grading them, and I think I'm going to roll through the answers. So for Tip Tuesday, you guys, the tip is let's look at all this beautiful stuff in the, the Spring Occasions Catalog together and see what you're missing. And the tip is to lip, my tip, <laughs> I guess this is something I've been doing for 20 plus years. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Tina. Is look through the catalog more than once. And every time you look at it, you'll see something different. So there's my tip, a very easy tip. And while we go through that tip tonight, we're going to go through the scavenger hunt. The reason I put these scavenger hunts together is not to cause you guys any pain or suffering or hardship or tears or to make you stressed out. Hi, Jill. Hi, Peggy. Um, it's to actually help you guys see things that you may not have noticed. Um, hi, Dee. And so 
So that's my ultimate goal. So it's never supposed to be strenuous. It's never supposed to be like a time waster. It's really meant to help you guys see the catalog. So there's my tip is always look through the catalog once and then twice and then and again, and then never be mad at me if you end up staying up all night looking at your catalog and, and not getting enough sleep because you guys, it happens to me every single time I get a new catalog. I, I can look through it and then I look through it and I look through it and then it's 3 a.m. and I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta get to bed. <laughs> so hi, Nicole. So that's what we're gonna do tonight for Tip Tuesday is we're gonna roll through the answers and qu the questions and the answers. I wanna make sure I have everybody. It was kind of a, a chaotic mess for me at the end of January with getting ready for my leave of absence and throwing Florida in there. And so I am going to run through the names from the scavenger hunt and make sure I have them all. And hi, Jane. If I miss anybody, I still can get it from you because you can show me where you sent it. And I know you, as long as you sent it to, to me by the 31st, I will still consider it for grading. Um, if there ends up being a tie, um, we'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, Tyler's calling. <laughs> oh, he's going to have to wait right now. <laughs> so they made it down to Louisville. Um, he was so excited. They went to Milwaukee Tool and they're going to the derby and they're doing all these guy farmer things <laughs> and so he's he's having a, a good time <laughs> so um uh yes chris i t completely agree i see new stuff every time i look at it too and the card samples i see new every time too so what i want to do tonight i have actually some happy mail that came in i want to share that with you i will share with you the cards diane and i created for um let's just stamp next month um i'm going to show you again the fun folds um, that are coming up next month. I've had quite a few people sign up and the sign up is still early for the fun fold. So uh, fun folds is still open at this point. Um, no, not even close to um, the, like the upper limits. <laughs> um, I did have a couple extra people sign up for Heart and Home and I decided to add on a couple more sets of card kits. Um, they won't mail um, in time for the class, which is on Thursday, but I would still get them to after. So if you think you missed Heart and Home, um, I'm going to show the cards again. I'm planning to make eight more sets of card kits because I think that I've already got three of them accounted for and I feel like five more will easily go. So hi, Cheryl Thomas. So if you think you missed out on Heart and Home, I'll show those cards again as well. Hi, Millie Kindle. Um, I also have, um, I've got Celebration Celebration and Ink, Paper, Scissors, you guys. I'm going to show you kind of what's coming up. So Tip Tuesday is going to be a little bit oddball of a Tip Tuesday, just like my day was today. So yes. Okay, so I am going to roll through the names of all the people who submitted scavenger hunts. If I did not call your name and you did, um, hi, Kathy Miller, and you did submit a scavenger hunt to me, um, forward me the email that you originally sent as long as it was by the 31st of January. If you sent it to me in a Facebook message, please um, screenshot it and send it to me so I know to go look for it. Or if you texted it to me, um, send me a text and say, hey, I texted it to you on this day. You guys, when everything comes flying in at different angles, it's really, I, I, I try my best to manage absolutely everything, but I do miss, I miss things. It's I'm human. So, so don't fault me for that and be patient with me. Um, but if I did miss, um, getting your scavenger hunt, just get it to me and I'll still grade it and include it. Um, I had, I had only one person that I think got everything right, except for one. No, <laughs> there are, I always have one hard question in there. It's how many of something are in the catalog and nobody ever gets that exactly right. So there's always one question that I kind of throw away. And so besides that, one person did get all the rest of them right. Um, hi, Kathleen from Florida. So um, I would still be willing and able to grade a scavenger hunt if I don't call your name. So hi, Crystal McBride. Hi, Karen Wetstein. Okay. So again, these are the names of the people I have scavenger hunts. It's the most I've ever gotten for a catalog ever. So I'm so excited. Uh, so Carissa Alberts, I got yours. Elizabeth Ray, I got yours. Um, Jean Maxwell, I got yours. Deb Norman, I got yours. Um, Elaine Rebeck. Um, Susan Reed. I got Chris Dudarenki. I got Danny Olson, Kathy Groves, Luann Johnson, Barb Johnson, Anna Schaffer, uh, Sue Voltz, Judy Bobo. Hi, Karen Becker from upstate New York. Hi, Melly Howe. Um, Anna Rebidu, I got yours. Christina Bernard's got yours. Dar McCarthy, Carmen Melendez, Kathy Jackson from my old Wisconsin, and Stacy Burns. 
So if I did not just call your name and you are watching this at some point in the next day or two, um, you can reach out to me and I will make sure to get it. And um, how we'll do it is if you would happen to have all of them right except for the one question about the heart, then I would do a um, uh, the number question, number 20 is the tiebreaker question. I'd have to revert to that. And so we'll figure it out. Um, so I'm not officially calling a winner tonight. I am actually going to say who the winner would be if nobody uh, tells me I'm missing their scavenger hunt. Um, and so I'll give it a day or two. And if I don't hear by like Thursday night or Friday that I'm missing scavenger hunts, then I would call this person the declared winner. <laughs> so, oh, wow. Linda is watching from Florida with one, <laughs> one eye on me and one eye on ice skating. So eating m &Ms. So I can't be, <laughs> that's a little, I'm so excited that you're watching. I will not be doing any ice skating, but I think that ice skating is always fun to watch. So, so we're going to roll through the scavenger hunt and then I'll show um, the cards I have for you guys because that's right in front of me now. So how the scavenger hunt works is I based it off of the two catalogs that are two new catalogs that are current. So the celebration catalog that just is new and current and the mini catalog, I call it the spring catalog. Um, some people refer to it as the JJ catalog, which is January through June. I have not graduated to that terminology. I don't like JJ catalog, I'll be honest with you. It's the spring catalog to me. Uh, so yes, so that's where I'm going with. So I'm gonna flip the camera down. Um, I'm going to use, I don't know if I saved any uh, unfilled out one so I'm just going to be using Carissa's as uh the one that has the one that has the questions in front of me I think I threw well I had some extra printed copies I think I threw them away so um me maybe ice skating here you know so talking about weather and craziness so we have lots of snow and ice around here my driveway has ice in it actually but we're supposed to be in the 40s tomorrow low 40s and get rain so my mom said to me that the ice in my driveway is going to be gone by tomorrow which is good so and we're going to be losing a bunch of our snow hi denise okay so i'm going to flip her down and um oh linda hodge hi linda <laughs> so okay so when i talk about the scavenger hunt Every new catalog, you guys, I post this and it's always completely optional. You don't have to do it. Um, I do give away a $20 gift certificate to one winner or if it's a tie, I break it and do 10 and 10. I think one time we had a three-way tie and so um, we figured that out as we go. I always 110% appreciate when you guys um, print these and like mail them to me like Christina mailed it to me in an envelope and I didn't have to print it off. I love it. Um, otherwise, if you guys send me pictures, I have to print off pictures. I, I hate grading things off of a phone. If I have to do that, this is what ends up doing. I write the numbers down and have to do that. So if I can print it, I will. But um, if you guys can email or mail it to me, that's always my number one way to get these back. Um, otherwise, I do print them and... Well, then they get lost in the shuffle. Otherwise, uh, I gotta roll up my sleeves for this, you guys. Otherwise, if you can mail them, perfect. So, uh, so this is the scavenger hunt for the mini catalog and celebration. So you needed to both look at both these. Hi, Diane Rangi. You had to look at both of these catalogs and then look at the question and then see what you know. Go through the catalog to get the answer. And so we're gonna roll through all these. I'm gonna save number two for last. That is my trickery question. I always have something like how many hearts or how many bees or how many um something and so it's really hard because <laughs> sometimes they're tricky but we'll start here at the first one how many different celebration items are offered with a $50 or $100 order and what is your favorite item oh my gosh I had so many people that answered this correctly with the number of items but then they did not tell me what their favorite item was so I give half points for that but when you are looking at this question, you need to go celebration catalogs because it says celebration items. And so Chris, that put on here nine items, five stamp sets, three designer papers, and one DSP um, stamp set combination. Okay, so you got to go through here and be like, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What did I miss? My mind went so fast. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, what? It, oh, now I'm confused. Five stamp sets, three designer papers, and one DSP. 
I could have sworn that there were nine because everybody, like almost everybody answered nines. You guys, two, oh, seven for 50 and two for 100. So what am I doing wrong here? This one's supposed to be really easy. So there's two for 100. So that's right. One and two. And then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, you guys, I was flipping and these two pages were stuck together. So it is seven. So when I flipped, I flipped those two pages and we missed these. So it is correct. It is nine. Um, but then what is your favorite? So Chris, I'm so sorry. You didn't tell me what your favorite was. So I only gave you a half a point. <laughs> so, okay. So we said we were going to skip so many hearts and we're going to go to question number three. How many rolls of ribbon, twine, trim were introduced in the catalog? So in the celebration catalog, there were none. And then um, if you want a really easy way to find the answer for this one, you just have to go to the back of the mini and count the rolls, twine, ribbon. And I didn't say uh, packaging. I said how many rolls. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Almost everybody got that. There was only maybe three people that didn't get that out of all the people that submitted. So the answer for number three is 10 rolls. How many coordinating suites are in the new mini catalog? So if you want a really easy way to answer this one, you just have to go to the front of the book. And on page three, there's a table of contents and it has the suites listed here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight is the answer, but I also ask, what is your favorite? You guys, I always, always will give a half a point less if you don't tell me your favorite. So Chris has said here, eight sweets. Her favorite is Symbols of Fortune. She loves Symbols of Fortune, you guys. <laughs> so um, so she that was perfect. So eight and then a favorite. Um, if you didn't answer favorite, then I gave a half a point. Um, so hi, Sherry Martin. Okay, what more do you receive in Stampin' Rewards with a qualifying party during celebration? So you got to go back to the celebration book and what more do you receive? So when you host a qualifying, so when you go to the back of this book, if you host a $300 either workshop or your own personal order, um, you receive the exclusive Calming Camellia stamp set for free. So that's what you receive in addition to the host rewards that you normally would receive. So like on a $300 workshop, so if you go to the back of this book, there are some rewards listed here on page 90. If you did a $300 workshop, you got 12%, which is $36 in free rewards. But then on top of that, you would get the Calming Camellia set. And so that is the exclusive Calming Camellia set. So that was the correct answer for that one. How many new punches can be found in the new catalog? So there were no punches in the celebration book. And the easy way to answer this one would be to go, <laughs> there's a nice little index in the back, you guys, that kind of breaks things down. And so punches, one, two, three, four, five, six punches. So that's what Carissa had here is six punches. It's funny. I had number six is the answer with a number six or six and six. <laughs> so, okay. A ladybug is a symbol of good luck with w all over the world. So you should be happy when you see it. What is the name of the stamp set you can find the ladybug in and what page can you find it on? Um, so that would be the Hello Ladybug stamp set. And if you go to page 20, Oh, look at this. Hello, Ladybug, page 20. So that was the right answer. And as long as I'm talking about it, we're going to take a little detour because I did a swap exclusively featuring the Hello, Ladybug stamp set. And Melanie, you're watching. This was Melanie Hao's swap card that she made. Um, I... Um, so there's two different things going on. I did a team swap party and Melanie had um, the Hello Ladybug stamp set. And so she did this card, but I also did a swap with my upline and it featured the ladybug. So as long as we're talking ladybugs, I don't know if I've ever shown all these cards to you guys, but I'm gonna flip through these kind of quickly to show you if um, you wanna screenshot any of these, you just have to take a screenshot. Um, these were different cards that were made by my peers. 
um, like this one's Candy Michael, and they all kind of feature um, current product out of either the annual spring can annual or spring catalog, and then also um, the ladybug set. So some of these could have been from my winter creative escape. Some could be from my swap with my upline, but as long as we're talking ladybugs, I'm gonna show you some ladybug cards here that I thought, well, might as well show them. Um, here's another one, and that's Carol Lee Crab. Um, Deb Snyder, it's hard to see this, but she's got some embossing. This leaf right here is embossed. Um, it's actually a die cut, and she must have put a, like a mat under there and it didn't die cut all the way through. Uh, this one, it's kind of like a Valentine's Day ladybug. Here's one, Mindy Gray. Um, I think it might go like that. And here's another one. Some have insides, some don't. Here's one, may your greatest wish come true. So that black and white polka dot comes from Artfully Layered. This was mine actually, I made some St. Patty's Day cards. My mom always sends out St. Patrick's Day cards and so I always have to make it a point to get some for her. And may the luck of the Irish go double for you. So it was a little ladybug on a, 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 one, a three leaf clover. Um, hi Denise, uh, this one is from Jean Chioli. Uh, so she actually took you guys. This was pretty clever. Somebody, I think Jill Butstein, you pointed this out. I was figuring, trying to figure out where these daffodil, these daisy pieces came from. This what sunflower, sunflower. So this ladybug wing here, they, Jean, she took the wings and created this day, um, sunflower, and then that's where she made the leaves from. So I thought that was pretty clever for that. Um, here's another one. Here's one where they made the ladybug into a bee. Uh, that was Ruth Bingle. And then another one. You guys, we're almost done with these and we'll keep moving her along, moving on. Okay, so those are some ladybugs. So I specifically called out, hi Barb Johnson, I specifically called out a question regarding the ladybug stamp set. Okay, um, how many packs of designer series paper were introduced in both catalogs? Which do you like the best? So this is another one where you could go way to the back and then look at page 86 and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight in the mini. And then if you go to celebration, we have one, two. So the daffodil rainbows, the marble is three, and hello friendly makes four. So there's a total of 12. Her favorite is Symbols of Fortune. I mentioned that Krista loves the Symbols of Fortune. So the answer for this one was 12. Hi, Gail. What is the name of the stamp set that inspires me to put on my boots, plant some seeds, and water those flowers? What page can you find me on? Okay, I love this set. Page 30. Um, we're going to be making a card with this stamp set um, coming up soon here. I think it's even March, maybe. Um, so it's called Flowering Rain Boots. And it's on page 30, so that's the answer. This is the card we're gonna be making. It's coming up in the March monthly class, I think. So watch for that. I'm pretty sure it's March. If it's not March, it's April. It's one of the months. Um, but I love gardening, so I always, I look for the questions um, that, I, I love the ladybug set, I love gardening. So those oddball questions where I ask for the names of the stamp sets, I call out the stamp sets that I like a lot. So flowering rain boots, page 30 is the answer for that one. Um, this one is how many new bundles were introduced in the new mini catalog? What do you save when buying a bundle? Okay, so this is another one. You can go to the back of the book and there's on page 76, it starts here. Um, oh, Denise got that one, good. So there are four, these are the bundles. And if you go to this page, 83, there's four. And four makes eight plus four makes 12, plus four makes 16, plus four is 20, plus four is 24, plus four is 28, 29, 30, and 31. So those are all new. Um, the one uh, oddball thing was Eden's Garden was introduced early in December um, or November, I can't remember, maybe November, but it was still new to this catalog. It That was just an early release of the product. So some people questioned about that. And yes, Eden's Garden was a new one. So 31 bundles. And what do you save? So when you look at all these, 
<laughs> it's like called out really boldly here, 10% bundle savings. So the answer to this was you save 10% when you buy as a bundle. So if you buy the stamp set and the dies together, they draw a little line through the together price um, if you bought them separately and then put the, like, so 49, you get 490 off. And then they round, they rounded up to $5, so 44. So the answer on that one's 31 and then 10%. What are the names of the new exclusive host stamp sets in the mini catalog? So that's another one where you can go to the back of the book, the very last page, number 90. There's mischievous mice and there's expressions in friendship. And I just realized I have not gotten either one of these yet. <laughs> oh, I better add them to my list. I love the fonts in this one a lot. So you're the friend. Everyone wishes they had a sweet hello, miss you, happy birthday. Very cool little sentiments in this one. Just a quick note to say, hey, hi, sweet Fred. Thanks, hey, to birthday. Just looking to see if there's any hearts in any of these. <laughs> I forgot about them. Okay, how many new embossing folders were introduced in the mini catalog? Which is your favorite? Okay, so this is another one. If you back it up to this page, not 86, how many embossing folders? Now, I don't say like, packaging wise. I just want to know how many embossing folders. So one, two, three, four, five. Even though this comes as a pair, it's still two separate embossing folders. This one comes as a hybrid um, with dies. It's still an embossing folder. So the answer is five. And then what's your favorite? Carissa loves the splatters. So, so the answer is five and then your favorite. Hi, Barb Calvin. If you um, told me the number, but didn't tell me your favorite, I gave a half. Okay. Did you see that the Eiffel Tower made it in the mini? <laughs> what is the name of the stamps that you can find it? Okay, I love this. this is, I gotta call it Danny Olson. I love it. Oh man, this is this is where I mean like don't mean to cause anybody like hard to like stress or pain or suffering. <laughs> so Danny, you go, I, Danny, I hope you're not embarrassed, but I wrote on here. Um, <laughs> so she wrote. This is a trick question. There is no stamp set with the Eiffel Tower. At least I couldn't find it. So. <laughs> Oh, I don't mean for you guys to spend hours on hours looking for a little Eiffel Tower. You know, it's just to like make you look through here. So the answer is Renoculus Romance. Um, and then it's on page 54. <laughs> so I know Bonnie Lesperance found this one right away. She loves her Eiffel Towers. Anything Paris related. Hi, Lisa. It is here. I promise you, Danny Olson. It's right there. So there is an Eiffel Tower and it's in this Renoculus Romance set. This is from the class we did just last week. We used, we featured that, the rows here and then the words. And so, um, so yes, <laughs> there is an Eiffel Tower, I promise. Um, you didn't need to have the page number. I really didn't mean for you to have to say, yes, I did, <laughs> because it was a question. I was looking for Renoculus Romance. Okay. Um, I love giving out treats to my friends and family. What is the name of the cute treat boxes that you can purchase in the mini catalog? How many come in a pack? Okay. So, hi, Anna Rebidou. So, if you go to the back here, um, you can see that the sweet treat boxes are referenced here um, on the page 86 again. Um, it's on page 9. So, this tells you that they're called the sweet little boxes. But if you go to page 9, that will tell you how many you get. So, um, these are what I'm using for all the celebration celebration gifts that are going out to people who earned a spot at that um, event that I have coming up. Uh, so sweet little boxes, it says you get 10 boxes. So looking for sweet little boxes, 10 boxes for the answer on that one. Okay. All right. Number 15. I'm a cool new set of masks. What is my name and how many masks do I come with? Again, you guys can go straight to the index in the back, that page 86. And it references here the butterflies and flowers layering decorative masks. I kind of went for if you had butterflies and flower masks, that's fine. And there are six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you go to page 65, that has the actual bigger picture of them. So let's, so you guys, a lot of these answers. So Stampin' Up! didn't always put a nice little index like this in the back. Uh, so these were often a lot harder to hunt and find the answers. Um, because of this index back here, it makes it a lot easier for counting. But here's where you can see there were six masks. So the answer, butterflies and flowers, layering decorative masks, six were included. <laughs> Cursa loved this one too. 
I'm a large, long-necked, waiting bird of marshes and plains in many parts of the world, and I can now be stamped to make beautiful cards. What is the name of the stamp set? So this was like, I was looking for the stamp set, not the bundle, not the suite. Um, so Chris, a reference to your page 24. So if you go to page 24, that's where you'll find this big waiting bird. So you guys, I really went to the Google and I looked up a crane and the definition by the Google told me I'm a large long neck waiting bird of marshes and plains. I took that right off of the internet. And so, so I was really that, so I was like, okay, I, I picked out the crane and then I looked for my question. So I worked that one backwards. Hi, Frankie Canada. Um, so that was the crane of fortune. That was the answer I was looking for here. What do you get in your standard starter kit for $99 during celebration? So that's what you need to be the key for this one is it's during celebration. So if you go to the back here and the last section talks about join a creative community. Choose your starter kit for $99. Um, and then you'd have to like read through this paragraph. So a lot of the stuff that comes standard in the starter kit are like your catalogs, your receipts, you get a past paper pumpkin, you get a 20% discount going forward. You get a whole bunch of stuff. And I guess what I generally am looking for is what more do you get during celebration? What do you get in your standard starter kit? Because you might not know all that extra stuff, but it specifically calls out here, you can select $125 worth of product for $99 and during celebration, you also get your choice of any two stamp sets for free. So I was looking for those two things. I wasn't looking for one or the other. What more do you get? I was looking, what do you get in your standard starter kit? <clears throat> so if like Carissa listed here, um, free shipping, she put business supplies choice. Uh, you know, so she put extra stuff, but then I made sure I was looking for $125 worth of product and two free stamp sets. If you had both of those things, I counted a point. If you had one of those things, I gave a half, okay? So that's where that one came from. Um, if you look in the book, that's where you'll see the business supplies, free shipping, a past paper pumpkin. So, okay, 18. I was excited to see bees. Oh my goodness, yay. Yes, Frankie, it is a good deal. I would love for you to join the Be Happy Stampers and, <laughs> and be on my team. That would be amazing. You get that and then you get me <laughs> and then... Um, what are the other things that people love when they join my team, me specifically versus other demonstrators, is I provide all my PDF tutorials that I create in my team Facebook group. And once you join my team, you have access to them. Since I started doing them back in 2018 or 2019, I can't remember the specific day, month, year, whatever it was, but about three years worth of PDF tutorials. And so that is one of the extra perks that you get from joining the Be Happy Stampers. And there's other things too. I also did a video going through all the perks of, of it, but um, yeah, the amazing community of stampers that you would join is also a perk. So, okay, so back to number 18. I was excited to see bees. What is the name of the stamps that you can find the bees in? Honey Bee Home, page 61. Um, Yes, so Frankie, what you can actually do, go right here, cardsbychrispy.com, and click on the join. There's a join at the top, join my team. That has a page of information. So cardsbychrispy.com, and click um, join my team, and information will appear. That's for any, if anybody's looking for information on how, what you get. Um, it's very easy. I have a whole page on my website dedicated to joining, answering questions that you might have. Um, it's a lot to read through. Uh, and so it's just cardsbycrispy.com. Click on um, join my team and it takes you right through all that information. If you can't find that Frankie or anybody else, I can copy and paste the link and send it to you, but it's pretty easy to find if you type cardsbycrispy.com, join my team. All right. So um, Honey Bee Stamps at page 61 is here, and <clears throat> that's where my bees are, you guys. Right there, Honey Bee Home. There's three bees. All right, this next question and the heart one are both the trickery questions, you guys. So <laughs> I'm going to, and I'm, I only took one answer. Uh, um, I'm, oh, hi, Amy. Um, I'm t I only took one answer for this next question, and I'll tell you why. So, it says here, windmills and tulips are represented in the mini. Yay, what country is most known for these two things? The Netherlands. 
I had to be very careful how I worded that because I knew I would get multiple answers. And I specifically said country and Holland is not a country. The Netherlands is the country. Um, and somebody put um, Michigan, Holland, Michigan. It's like Michigan, Holland are not country. So I only gave credit for this one if you had the Netherlands. Um, so I loved it. Kathy Jackson, <laughs> like you, you list, you were awesome when you put your answer because Kathy Jackson, you actually put, and you spelled this out very clearly for me, um, which reinforced it for me for answering or grading. You put Netherlands is the country. Holland is a province or like a, we would call a state or a territory. So there's North Holland and South Holland within the country of the Netherlands. And then Amsterdam is the largest city. So some people put Amsterdam, some people put Holland, and some put, people put Netherlands. And because it says on their country, you guys, I only took the Netherlands. And I remember Googling it too, because I'm like, how do I answer, like get the right, the one answer that I'm looking for. Okay, so it was the Netherlands. All right, so I would have to say a third of the people had the Netherlands, a third had Holland, and a third had Amsterdam. <laughs> so, um, so it was across the board. Um, hi, Corinne. Thanks for sharing. Um, okay. Uh, oh, Frankie, you're no longer working, so it's very tempting. Yes. And, you know, if you guys sign up to become a Stampin' Up! discount shopper or demonstrator, um, see it how it goes. There's no commitment um, or pressure if you can't make the minimum quarterly amount, which is $300 a quarter, um, which is basically $100 a month. Uh, and your first quarter is waived. And so technically, if you sign up today or tomorrow or by February 28th, which is when celebration ends, you don't have to do $300 until June 30th, technically. So, hi, Laura. Okay, so the last question, you guys. Um, nobody got it right as far as I looked through all the answers. And I'm going to tell you and roll through them to help you understand where I think I got my answer from. But the question is, it says so many hearts from within only stamp sets. So that dismisses paper and dies. Okay, so from within stamp sets, how many stamps, not hearts, it says how many stamps with a heart can be found in the new mini and celebration catalogs. So that goes to heart or the word heart, right? So that's where it's tricky because it says heart. So you got to look for the word heart and you got to look for hearts. And sometimes there are multiple hearts on the same stamp. Okay, so if there's like three hearts on a stamp, it's still one stamp. It's not three hearts. So I really bamboozled a lot of people. So sorry. Uh, so um, lots of answers that ranged from, I think, five up to 41. So there was a wide gamut or range of answers. And, and I don't think anybody got what I got. And... Um, this is open to discussion. If somebody says that they're watching this and they're like, oh, that shouldn't count or that could count, I guess I might have missed one or two, but I'm going to start from the beginning of the catalog. I have made my list and I'll share it with you guys. And if somebody who, <laughs> Chris said that's where I got her. Yes, the hearts. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, a lot of people miss the word heart um, because it is a heart. Even though it's spelled out, it's a heart. Okay. So, and we're looking within stamp sets alone, and I'm gonna just go from the start of the catalog to the end of the catalog. I have my pages referenced with numbers, and if you think I missed anything, please reach out to me. Um, but I don't think anybody, there was a person or two that were within four um, plus or minus of my number, which maybe could work, but I guess at the end it was still meant for fun, right? Not to be like, crazy or like stress or like cause you undue hardship or pain. So I didn't mean it to be mean to anybody. So we're going to start at the beginning and see once what we come up with. Um, oh, Mo is 21. Okay. So I had more than that. Um, I act just, just to tell you guys, I came up with 29. All right. Um, we're going to start in the celebration catalog because that's easier. There is really, I only found one. All right, Frankie, we'll see you later. Um, I only came up one with one in the celebration catalog. So we'll start there and then we'll go to the mini catalog and roll through that. So I'm going to flip the camera back down, you guys, so you can see. So we're going to start with celebrations. So remember, we're looking for hearts and we're looking for the word heart, which is a heart as well. So Island Vibes, nothing. That's paper. 
Okay, so catching butterflies. If you guys have your catalog with me, you can pull out yours versus having to look at mine. Okay, it says right here, you make my heart happy. So I have catching butterflies. I have one, page six. I did not see any other heart images or the word heart anywhere in there. Driving by, I did not see a heart or the word heart. This is paper, paper. The otters, I did not see a heart or the word heart. Hello, friend. Um, nothing there for me. Um, I looked through every one of these sentiments and I did not see the word heart at all. So I didn't count that one. Camellia, I didn't realize Camellia had two L's, but it does, okay. Um, you make me smile. So I saw nothing in there. So I only got one. Um, I got one heart out of this catalog. So celebration, I got one, okay? So let's go back here now. Remember I said from within a stamp. So how many stamps? So that's where the trick comes on some of these. And if you don't know how many, like let's say you don't own the stamp set and you see us all these hearts here, like you'd have to get creative. And so, okay, it says 17 photopolymer stamps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So that tell, and this says here, multiple image on one stamp. Die cuts them out separately. So this is one stamp, and that is one stamp. Okay, so that's where this can be a little tricky for you guys uh, if you're not understanding that that is not three individual stamps and that's not three. Hi, Teresa Carls. Um, who got the closest? I'll have to tell you. I'll run through that really quick um, when we get done with counting them. Um, so, and and I'm thinking it's 29. So I wanted to, you know, kind of get the seal of approval here. So, so this is called Sweet Conversations, page 10. I counted 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I counted 10 stamps here. Jean Maxwell, um, she actually gave me a printout of what she thought, and she also had 10 on this one. Sometimes if people put, like also Carissa put your 10 in Sweet Conversations, that kind of confirms that's 10. So we got 10 so far. I did not see the word heart in this stamp set at all, so I'm skipping over this one. We're going to go to the gumballs. So this is page 12. I came up with two. This says here, multiple images on one stamp. So there's one, and then that is a stamp right there. So that's two. So I got two. Carissa also had here gumball two. So I got two on page 12. Um, Elizabeth, you were at 25 with heart words. So Elizabeth, you were pretty close. You, I said there were a couple people within four plus or minus. You were a one within four because Elizabeth, I had yours back here. Um, yeah, I didn't print out yours, but I believe I, you had 25. So, okay, so back here, page 12 was two. Um, go to nuts and bolts, and nuts and bolts, I came up with three, because this is one stamp, there's a heart here, and then it says, you make my heart beep. So if you're wondering nine cling stamps, and you're wondering, oh, is that one or two? You can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is one stamp. This is two stamps. You make my heart beep is three. So I got, I actually, I had two originally and I changed it to three. So rep 15. So these are the flowering tulips. They are shown on the next page here. I did not come up with a heart in this one. I did not come up with a heart in that one. Page 18 though, I did. So this, if you're wondering, it says it's 14 stamps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So if you look at the three little hearts here, they are not three separate little hearts. They are one stamp. So on page 18, Rainbow of Happiness, I got one, and so did Carissa as well there. Okay, Friends of the Forest. I did not see a heart in here at all. And then the ladybug, I did not see a heart. The wildflower path, my heart is smiling because of you. Um, page 21, 
I had a one here because of the word heart, okay? So there's a heart right there on page 21. We did 18. And then the cranes are next, and they are featured on this page. So let's flip here. I do not believe, um, so page 24, I did not find a heart in this at all. So then Paradise Palms on page 25, I'm pretty sure there was no heart there. Page 26, no heart there. Easter Friends, I did not come across a heart there. So that's page 27. No heart for me there. Going to page 30, we're into the flowering rain boots, you guys. I saw no hearts there. Kite Delight, nothing for me there. I did not see, so somebody, I think it was Jean Maxwell said, these leaves could be hearts, but you guys know they're leaves and <laughs> they're not hearts. I mean, you could look at them and say, oh, they're a cluster of hearts, but they're not, they're not. Like they're leaves. So I did not count that one. Uh, I don't know if anybody else really did. I don't think most people did count those as hearts because they were, I think are intended to be leaves. So that one I didn't count. Uh, page 35 with the Dahlia Days. I didn't come up with any hearts on that one. Um, hi, Barbara. Thanks for sharing. Okay, Flowing Flowers, page 36. I love this right here. Sending a card instead of a text, but it doesn't have the heart in it. Okay, page 37. We've got the Daffodil Daydream. Saw nothing there. But we get to page 38, and I came up with one. Thanks from the depths of my heart. So here we have a heart. Woohoo! So page 38, I have one. Okay, so we got that one. Flipping to 39, there are definitely no hearts in the ocean front. You know what? I don't think I bought that yet. I think I need to get that. Oh, man. All right, I got to make myself a mental note to buy that. <laughs> See, I just saw something I missed. Okay. Um, amazing silhouettes. There's nothing with a heart going on there. Uh, Eden's Garden. My heart is tied to you. Page 41. My heart is tied to you. I have page 41. One heart. So I did count that one. And then we have the On the Horizon. I do not see a heart in this at all. The Eclectic Garden. I do not see a heart in here as well. Hi, Marsha Long. You can definitely catch the replay. Thanks for sharing, Betty. I appreciate it. Timeless tiles. I did not catch a heart. Gentle waves, no hearts. All right. Soaring swallows. Uh, I did not think I caught anything in here with hearts or a heart. Okay. Thank you. See the good that da, 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 sometimes don't. No, nope. So no for the grassy grove on that. Um... This guy is on the next page, is Hello Beautiful. I did not see the remnants of a heart in here, so I'm skipping that. Now, here I did, page 51. I saw here, get this, you guys. <laughs> Look at these beautiful little hearts. Do you see that? It says Happy Mom Day, and there is definitely, they intended for that to be a heart, the way they crossed it, and they did it also um, right here. Because look, they definitely called it out here because if they put, I heart you, I love you, right? So I definitely called out this one and this one for two stamps that have hearts in them. I looked through the rest and I didn't really see where they did that on any other stamp set in here, but I love all these awesome fonts in here. So happy and heartfelt on page 51. I definitely counted two for that one. So then we have the slim sayings did not catch anything in there but over here I did under best delivery so this is a stamp here and there's a heart in there and this is a stamp and there's a heart there and I think that I just counted one two for best delivery on page 53 all right so far so good you guys all right hopefully you're following along and catching up what I'm doing ranoculus romance look at this you guys thank you for sharing your heart so page 54, I found one too. All right, so there's a heart. And let's see, page 53. Um, there is right, uh, no, this is page 55. Um, nothing in that one that I found. 
So we have your sentimental one, nothing there in the moment. I did not catch a heart in here. 58, nothing. Okay, so then these flip over to page 60 and 61. So I did not find any hearts in either of these sayings. I didn't find the word heart or heart. 62, I didn't. I looked through this. I didn't see any sneaky hearts hiding. I didn't find any in here either. Okay, so page 63, I looked throughout this. I did not find any hiding hearts in here either. And page 64 is the hedgehogs. It's, I didn't, like sometimes they might put a little heart inside something. I did not find anything in the hedgehogs. Page 65, I did find one though. And it is, you're on my mind and in my heart. So celebrating you, I found one on page 65. Getting to the end here, guys. So hang tight. We're almost done. Um, cactuses, nothing for hearts there. Here, lucky you, page 67. I found two. One, two. And if you're wondering, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve stamps. So that's a stamp and that's a stamp right there. So two of them, um, page 67. All right. I don't think any of the words had, any of the sentiments had a heart. Okay, then we have the Hey Sports Fan. I don't believe, page 69, I did not see anything. There was nothing in here really with hearts. And then page 70, Ed, let's set sail, nothing really. 71 is the Wildlife Wander. Um, I didn't see anything with a heart there. The gardening, home and garden. Nothing for heart there. The Vikings had no hearts. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that, but <laughs> maybe they have hearts. Yes, they do. And lastly, the record. Look, right here in the middle. There's a heart in the middle of the record. So 74 had a one. So if I have to add that up, 10, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I got 28 in the mini, and I got one in celebration for a total of 29, okay? That was my final answer as of right now. Um, answers, and I don't want to call people out, but I guess, <laughs> I think it was Kathy that asked. So, um, we had 21, we had 15, 41, 27. So Susan Reed, you had 27. You were super close. Um, uh, Chris Studeranke, you had 35. I'm, I was like, I didn't know where you got 35 from. And I, so I said, where is your, so I asked Chris for if she had her list. Um, there we had five, we had 16, we had 23, 23, 20, 21, 22, that could be 23. There's 21 or 36 heart images, but I wasn't going for images. I was going for stamps. And then 16, 24, 6, 16, and a 19. But then Elizabeth, I did not capture your number. You said you had 25. Jean Maxwell, I didn't print off your sheet. Um, you, I can't remember what you had either. So, um, so, Elaine, I don't know. Oh, you had hearts. So, you had hearts, not stamps. So, and I even underlined it, you guys, how many stamps. <laughs> so, I tried to help you out. So, um, if you guys think I missed any, um, there were a few people that had over 29, but I think they were counting the stamps of hearts, like that actually had hearts. So, like we had multiple hearts within a stamp. So, hi, Rhonda Pratt. So, basically, I did not even give anybody a point. So nobody got you know a point for that. So it kind of like just erased or erad eradicated the question, I guess. <laughs> so it was tough. And I, I don't mean it to be like tough. <laughs> so, and generally, I don't think when I've done a question like that, in the history of me doing these scavenger hunts, when I've asked for how many of something, I've done butterflies, I've done hearts, I've done, I've, I've done different things. Never does anybody ever actually get how many there ever are. So it ends up going away but I'm waiting for the day that somebody gets all of them. <laughs> so, um, so this one is not the one. So with all that being said, if there were 19 questions, because number 20 was the tiebreaker, 
If there were 19 questions and nobody got number two right, so that means the most you could get was 18, um, I counted that Jean Maxwell had 18 correct. She had the Netherlands correct, which was the one of the main ones that a lot of people didn't get. Um, um, so Chris said the number is good, perfect. So, so Jean, as of right now, is um, in first place with 18 correct. I had a bunch of people that had 17 and a half uh, and a lot of 16s, a lot of 16 and a half, and a lot of six, 16, 16 and a half, 17, 17 and a half. So there were very few people that were under that. Um, so you guys did really good on this scavenger hunt. I'm very, really, really impressed. You guys, you found a lot of, a lot of good answers, correct answers. Um, what I do is, um, I don't mail these back to people. If you want to see your graded scavenger hunt, I ask that you send me an email or a text or a Facebook message, and I will take a picture of it and I will send it back to you. But I'm not mailing these graded forms back. <laughs> so, um, but I will send you a picture if you want, but you have to ask for it. I'm not gonna just go send all 20 of these back to everybody. Um, for those people that are in person with me and here like live with me um, in the flesh, um, I will keep these here for about a, like a couple weeks until you make it to a class. And if you want yours back, you're more than welcome to get it back or take it back. Um, but like Jean and, um, um, Elizabeth, I didn't print yours off. Um, I just, I, I, what I did is I think you saw what I did. I, I just did that. Like I just hand wrote your numbers and I circled them if you had them right. So, um, so yeah. So as of right now, if I didn't miss anybody from calling off your name earlier, hi, Sue Sorrell. If I didn't miss anybody, I'll call Jean the winner, um, on either Thursday or Friday and she'll win a $20 gift certificate for product from me. Um, so it's good towards stamping up product is how I do the gift certificate. Um, so it helps you get some stamping up goodies. So I copy mine and go over it with you. Okay, perfect. Chris, that's awesome. So, so yeah, so all in all, um, there were like two or three people that were um, at 17 and a half, but you guys like to hear what the tiebreaker question answers are. So I will roll through those really quickly too. So the tiebreaker question is, what would you name the three adorable friends in the Easter Friends stamp set on page 27 in the mini catalog? So let's do that really quick because you guys like to hear these. And I do this in case there was like a tie for 18, then I would go out and do a poll on my page and ask you guys to vote. So these are the little Easter friends I'm talking about, like the quackers and the peepers and the, the, the bunny. Okay. So I'm going to flip the camera up and just try to flip through these really quick. So um, we had a Thumper, Wobbles, and Peep for one set. Um, I don't have Elizabeth's or Jean's. They're in my computer. I didn't write them down. Um, if if you, Jean or Elizabeth are watching and you want to put your, in the comments what your three were, you're more than welcome to. I'm just not going to go scroll over to my computer and find it really quick. Um, Floppy, Puddles, and Chicky was another set. Peep, Quack, and Snuffle. Uh, Peep. Quackers and Hopper, um, Peeps, Fluffy, and Quackers. <laughs> I think we're seeing a pattern here, you guys. Um, Milo, Bert, and Daphne, um, Evie, Petey, and Rosie, uh, Little Ducky, Chickadee, and Fuzzy McPherson. <laughs> uh, and Luann also wrote Little Ducky Doddle went swimming in a puddle. <laughs> so she made a little rhyme there. Um, Peep, Daisy, and Thumper is one here. Uh, Happy Easter Duck, a bloppy bunny, and sweet little chickadee. Little Squeak, Bubbles, and Honey Bunny. Uh, Sunny of Mary. Sorry, you guys. It's hard reading. <laughs> Some of these look like this when I have to print off the picture that you sent me. It's like blurry. All right. So we had Sunny or Mary for the top one. Jolly or Cheery for the middle one. And Bashful for the bottom one. Oh, you guys, that was, I was not having that right, but <laughs> the camera was wrong. Chuck, Bunny or Duck. And, oh, hang on. I think I said that wrong. Ch okay. The Chick is Chuck, the bunny is Benny, and the duck is Dick. The chick is Tootsie, the duck is Daffodil, and the bunny is Lily Bell. <laughs> Fluffy, Ducky, and Chicky Poo. Fluffy, Snuggly, and Cutie. Lucy, Ginny, and Molly. And last I have here is Hester for the chick, Quackmere for the duck, and Twitch for the rabbit. Okay. 
Uh, so those are what I have. <laughs> Hi, Luann Johnson. Elizabeth said she put, let me see if I can read it up here better. <laughs> um, nope, it's got to come up. So she put Chip, Quackers, and Bunny, a.k.a. the Fluffy Friends Trio. Yes, now I do remember that one. I did read it. I just didn't remember it off the top of my head. So, all right, you guys. So I think all in all, that is the scavenger hunt in a nutshell. <laughs> so in case you joined in late and you want to see it from the beginning, after I'm done doing the live video, um, you guys can always catch the replay and fast forward to a different point in time. So I did promise you that I would show you some happy mail as well as the cards that Diane and I made together. Hi, Kathy King. Okay, so let's flip this down and I'm going to show you what I've got. So I got some happy mail, some Valentine's Day cards. So this one came from Cindy Runtree. Um, I love this little envelope stamp. I loved it. So I think that was from the kangaroo set. So a little thinking of you card, very pretty. Uh, this one is from Jean Terwilliger and she used the flowing flowers, uh, soft succulent with pale papaya. Um, oh, Elizabeth, you're very welcome. I'm so happy you enjoyed doing it. Um, pale papaya and some shimmer paper. This one is from Arliss Canoop. You guys, she made an easel card. So some of the sweet conversation paper pulled in a past heart doily, the little hedgehog. But look at this. This corner pops up and then it props onto the happy Valentine's Day. So it's like what it's like a traditional um, hot dog style scored here. And then you have to score from corner to corner. And then what you have to do is put... Um, the flap down, you have to pop something up here and that's what catches it so that it stays open like that on your desk. Super cool, Arliss, I love it. Uh, this one came from Brenda Little. So you guys, so cool. She knows I love my purple and my bees and so she's got a little bee in here, a little heart, some silver, a little silver heart on here. And then happy Valentine's Day and a little love note for me and I can reuse it. Thank you, Brenda. So that's hers. This one's from Elaine Reebuck. You guys, a little bee, love it. Um, I don't know exactly. There's like a heart doily here. It's not, it's not stamping up, but I believe this hexagon folder wasn't a past stamping up. This honeycomb is, I would have to guess, 20 years old. I believe it is stamping up, and I think I still have it as well. <laughs> so very pretty, Cardaline. And then last for my happy mail is from Miss Trinket Troy. You guys, I had to share the envelope with you. I, I opened it up, but I wanted to open it up in front of you guys because she put all these awesome hearts in here. So it was like a little confetti heart storm. <laughs> so um, I think there's even one more way down there. So, so I opened it up and I got these hearts in here. And then she had a really nice little note in here, sending warm wishes for a light and happy heart on this very special day. And she wrote me a really, really nice note, Trinket. I really appreciate it. I will put this note up. I have, you guys, I have notes galore. I save them when you write little love notes like this. I can put them up on my windowsill here. So I love it. Thank you so much, Trinket. I got your happy mail here <laughs> filled with all of these hearts. <laughs> so I'm glad it wasn't confetti or like... Um, uh, sparkles. Uh, uh, Tyler would not have been happy <laughs> with that. By you might get sparkles everywhere. So I will put that up there. So that's the happy mail I got you guys. So this is what Diane and I worked on today. So this is the first time I'm showing them. You will see more of this as the time comes because this class is not until March. Actually, if I I think it's March 14th. Um, for online and something like March 22nd, I think. So this is the Let's Just Stamp that I do with Diane. It's featuring the timeless tulips. And so I got to photograph them. I'll be adding the pictures. I, I have to create Facebook events. But this was one of the cards that we created today. Um, again, so this all features the timeless tulip stamps and then the verses come from there as well. So we've got some tulips and we pulled in the tulip down paper and Diane and I love to do the double matting for these cards. So you get that double matted inside. And this one features that flowering tulips designer paper as well. Some tulips and then the little happy birthday. Pulled in some white organdy ribbon. And then 
that. So now for this one, if you don't have the timeless tulips, if you have the new tulip set, it would probably work. If you have other flowers, it would work. Primarily it's tulips and a sentiment. And this one's my favorite. You guys know why, because it's so purplicious. Um, so again, tulips, you will have to either fussy, this is all fussy cutting now. We did not have a die for this. There is a punch for this. You could use if you own it, but otherwise fussy cut, fussy cut, fussy cut the leaves. So sorry, you're gonna stick your tongues out while you're cutting and that's okay. Um, little happy Easter sentiment some window pane ribbon, and then also the double matting on the inside of this one. Even though it's white, we went with a double mat option so it really ties in the front. Okay, so this is called Let's Just Stamp. It's free with a minimum purchase or it there's a fee to it. Um, if you go out to my cardsbycrispy.com and you go to Let's Just Stamp for March, you'll find the details. You just won't find these pictures yet or the, the card pictures because we just literally created them today. So that was fun. Um, in case you missed it last week, I did show off some of these cards here for the fun folds. Um, you can still sign up for this class. It's free with a minimum purchase, um, or you can pay the fee, whichever you want. That pulls out like that. And so it's like a little pocket card. And all you need are sentiments and some foliage if you want. The octopus, what you need, uh, a stamp back here, hi Dar. Um, you need a little foliage back here on the octopus. You'll get the die cut. And if you wanna just sponge them all pinkish, you would be fine. Um, and then this one opens up like this. The stamp set that was used on this one is Seize the Day, I think. <laughs> um, this one is the daffodil. You guys, totally pulled in celebration. This class is the first week of March. So celebration will have just ended, but I still went full bore with the celebration paper because it's so pretty and it fit perfectly with these cards. Uh, so this one is another little pocket like diagonal card featuring some of that daffodil paper. You would need a flower stamp to go right there and a sentiment. Otherwise, this is all designer paper back there. So again, you just need a little flower stamp and a sentiment. And my favorite one here is, because it's purple, of course, um, an easel card and this pops up and that pops up. and. So this is, yeah, hi Elaine, we're just going over, we went over the scavenger hunt, Elaine, so you might wanna roll back from the beginning when we're done. Um, so all the die cut pieces will be there. You'll need a sentiment, a sentiment, and then this is the, the background stamp called tiles, timeless tiles, I think. So stamp, 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 otherwise everything's die cut for you. So that's fun folds, you guys. Free with a minimum purchase, or you can pay the fee, whichever you prefer, again, all the details are on my events calendar at cardsbycrispy.com. This is the first week of March. So just go to the first week of March and you'll find this class already published. And um, in case anybody missed out on, this is what I'm doing Thursday night. This is called Heart and Home Sweet Bundle Class. We're gonna be making these four cards on Thursday night, uh, live at 6 p.m. Central. I added some kits to the um, slot. So I'm going to be making eight more sets of these. I had 48. I'm already at 50. So I've already over committed by two. So I'm going for it and I'm just going to go for eight, you guys. So the next six people that are interested could still get this class if you are interested in person tomorrow night here in the Hive, Saturday at 1.30, or if you want to go kits, I would be mailing them early next week because I have to make them and I'm planning to make them on Thursday or Friday. So you wouldn't have them in time for class, but you could always catch the replay for this one. So hard and home. And then what I've got also is I had made up 36 kits for this class. This is ink, paper, scissors. I have 28 already accounted for. I can always get the um, goodie bag um, products for this. No, eat, no problem. Um, I made 36 kits. So I have eight left of this this is the hand penned ink, paper, scissors class. Uh, so that one is fee based only. So it's $30 porch pickup or 36 mailed. So I do have a few sets of this left in case anybody wants to still sign up for this. And um, this hardened home was free with a minimum purchase or the fee. And then the last one that's still coming up is celebration hoorah rah, which is next week, Wednesday and Friday actually. And we're making these four cards. Hi, Stacy Burns. Um, that uses Calming Camellia, Driving By, Friendly Hello, and then the Island Vibes. Uh, I do have mm, one set maybe or two sets of this one if anybody wants to sign up in person or for the to-go kits. This was free with a minimum purchase or 
you could pay the fee as well. So lots of stuff still coming up, you guys. Um, I know I offer a lot and it's very confusing until you get the, get the, get the rhythm or get the feel for what I do. Um, I do offer free Facebook lives, meaning that you can just watch and never have to do card kits with me unless you, um, um, buy the kits. I mean, you can do your own at home and pull in your own products, but if you want card kits from me, um, I do offer classes a lot, like five of them a month usually. So, um, and to get those card kits, uh, I just got to get you on the class list and figure out how it works to get payment or if you're going to place an order. Uh, and placing an order, you just always has to have to use the host code. If you use the host code and have the minimum amount it qual and it qualifies for one of my free classes, then I mail those kits out the week before class. So, uh, always here to help if you have questions. I love talking versus texting when it comes to explaining all that information. Uh, it's easier to have a 10 minute conversation than about 50 text messages or emails back and forth. <laughs> so if you do have questions, just send me an email and say, hey, give me a call when you have a chance and we'll find a time and we'll chat and we'll get it all squared away. So um, it's always easy to do that. Um, okay, newsletter. Now that I've gone through the scavenger hunt, you guys, and I'm pretty much set that I think it's Jean Maxwell for the winter. I'm going to kind of go along that premonition. Um, I'm going to get the... <laughs> I'm going to write the scavenger hunt and that'll be published in the next day or two. Okay. So uh, this is the latest I've ever been on a scavenger hunt. And you would think that now I'm on my leave of absence that I would like, but I, you know what I did? I felt like I got caught up on stuff from January that I didn't have done. And I did that in early um, February. And now it's like, wow, <laughs> my mom said to me tonight, do you feel like you're getting caught up a little? I said, no, I'm staying right on track. <laughs> I'm just kind of staying right on track, you guys. That's all I can do. <laughs> so, um, uh, doo -doo -doo. so watch for that newsletter soon. Um, you know, Kelly, you guys, I mentioned on Thursday about Kelly's Technique Thursday. She could not get into my Facebook account for some reason on Thursday to download the video. So when I had my live on Thursday night, she had not uploaded it yet. So I kept telling you guys, go check out her technique Thursday, go check out her tech, and it wasn't there. So fortunately, she we got her into my Facebook account. I had to give her the six digit code and she got in, she got to download my video, or I should say her video, and then she uploaded it in the Cards by Christine Facebook page on Friday. So it was a day late and not a dollar short though, but it was still a good, amazing card. A flip down in case you did miss it and you didn't go back and look for it. It was the simple, easy, uh, very stunning card. Very, if you're looking for a nice, simple, easy card, you guys, this is it. So um, you can go back and catch that. You guys, she did upload it on Friday. So there was a communication um, Facebook issue. So um, yeah. So um, so there you go. We just did a really, really long Tip Tuesday scavenger hunt review, sharing swap cards, going over classes, going over happy mail, and whew, that was a lot. So yes, I am on a leave of absence, Lisa. I am doing the stamping thing to like the nth degree right now. <laughs> so, and I'm like, I don't even know where I would fit my job in right now if I didn't <laughs> have my leave of absence. So uh, my sister-in-law called my mom asking me, if everything was okay with Chris because she took a leave of absence and you only do that if you're sick. And my mom's like, yeah, she's fine. She's healthy. All's good. She just wants to spend her time over the next month dedicated to stamping and just focusing on one thing. And so yes, yes, the leave of absence is good. Everybody's been asking me how it's been. Last week was weird because every 15 minutes I felt like I needed to check my work email. So like I'm on my work email, checking and checking. And that's what I was always doing was responding to emails. And so Everything I did last week in the back of my head was, you got to check your email, got to check your email. And it was like weird because I didn't have to check my work email. And so this week was a little different so far because I've kind of like stopped thinking about it. Tell myself to stop thinking about it, stop thinking about it, stop thinking about it. And it's been better. <laughs> so by the time I'm done with my one month leave of absence, I'm going to be so not even thinking about the work work that I'm going to be like, okay, it's good. I'm ready to go. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, that's what I'm thinking will happen. So just got to cut, cut that umbilical cord, right? <laughs> so, all right. So yes, leave of absence is a good thing. You guys, it's going very well. I appreciate all of your well wishes and telling me to pursue my dreams and uh, that how much you believe in me and that you have confidence that I will succeed. And I appreciate that you guys, I have you and your support and I, and that means a lot to me. So I love inspiring and being creative with you and I appreciate all your support and helping encourage me to do that. So yay. Okay, you guys. So 
I think that was incredible. So you know what I have to do, you guys? Before I write my newsletter, I'm going to be writing the Heart and Home PDF tutorial because I have uh, about 32 people that signed up for that and are waiting for the tutorial because that class is on Thursday. So first comes that, then comes the newsletter. And tomorrow is a design day with Carissa. So I'm going to see what I can pull out of my... Um, <laughs> I was going to say butt. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> I'm going to pull out my butt for tonight, see how much energy I have left, and I'll try to get those two things done. Otherwise, it's just going to be heart and home and something else. I'm not sure. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I always try my best, but when the girl gets tired, she's got to go to get some sleep is what I've been told. So <laughs> yeah, Deb, it is a good, it is a transition to stop thinking about it, but um, it's awesome when I, like I design with Diane today for two hours, and I designed with Carissa last week for about seven hours, and it's like, that was helping with the transition because during those times, I didn't think about work at all. But when I'm working on stuff with my mom or if I'm working on stuff at my computer, like that's where I feel like, oh my gosh, like, <laughs> work. Well, I got to look at work stuff, but I don't. So that's exciting. So, oh, Julie, thank you so much. I appreciate that. So, all right. Um, I think that's it. You guys are starting to sign off as well. So I'm going to sign off. Lots of sunshine, love, and hugs to you guys. And I will see you on Thursday night at 6 p.m. Central for the Heart and Home class. And you can catch Kelly's Technique Thursday video, hopefully on some, she's not, she's not been over here to record it yet. So like that's the plan is for Thursday. Um, and I love you guys. We'll see you later. Bye.